today to say that the monarchy and the ideas of hereditary power and wealth are not what we stand for, are not what we believe in, and are not what we want. A year ago we came here to protest, and some of us didn't get to protest because we were chucked in a police cell, and Charles, who was supposed to defend our constitution and our rights, said nothing. Not my king! Not my king! Not my king! Despite extreme private wealth, the monarchy requires us to put its bill. At a time of a cost of living crisis, when so many people are struggling to pay their food bills and to heat their homes. There's no actual reason for it other than greed. And we have been socialized, we have been indoctrinated through the education system in this country to believe that some fallacy about the divine rights of kings means that somebody else can rule over us merely through the fact of just flying out of somebody else's vagina that's apparently royal. Right? Two, four, six, eight. Three, five, seven, nine. The civil list which used to exist, which funded the royal family in 2011, was 7.9 million from the public purse. The sovereign grant which replaced it this year gave the royals 85 million pounds. That's a nice bit of inflation for you over those years. In 2026, that is due to go up to 123 million pounds all of which is directly funded by the tax and PAYE and self-employed workers have taken from their salaries. We criticise MPs for spending thousands of pounds on second homes, but we don't criticise William for spending £4.5 million pounds of our money on doing up his, not his second home or his third home, but his fourth home. The monarchy and the systems that keep this country running, they're playing in our face. I can't stand the rain of the, the winters. We gotta end the monarchy. They're wonderful for tourism. Look at all these people who are coming here to see the royal family. I don't know if you know what the most popular palace in Europe is for visitors. <laughs> Thank you. The palace of Versailles. And the, the French abolished the monarchy in 1848. All of our suffering is interlinked. The very same malaise that we're dealing with here, it was sent over to so many other different places in the world. Our suffering is connected. Therefore, our liberation is connected. We need to challenge the monarchy and the royals because it is a corrupt institution. They are lazy people. They have not earned their position and they need to be kicked out. Not my king! Not my king! There should be no institutions, whether it's the Lords or the monarchy, where we are not allowed in, where we have no say. We recently learned about King's consent, an arcane legislation that allows the monarch to vet and even veto legislation that he disagrees with. Most of the younger people, and that's 50 and younger, do not like the monarchy support the republic, so the future is republican. We need a piece of legislation being passed by Parliament and that needs a referendum. Uh, so the uh, objective of the campaign now is to win over a majority of the population. And the polls are shifting quite a lot over the last few years. So we can start pushing the politicians to give us that referendum. Together we will make monarchy history. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.